What's up guys, Sailor here, and we're continuing our Glory of the Hero Achievement Guide series. When you complete all the achievements, you will be awarded the Red Proto Drake. And we're going to be continuing this with the Nexus today. So there's three achievements total you'll be able to get from here. Chaos Theory, Intense Cold, and Split Personality. And if you don't know where Nexus is, it's within the... Uh, in Burian Tundra to the left, you'll find Cold Aura. And it's the bottom dungeon within the, um, the Nexus area. So, now that we're inside, make sure it is on 5-man heroic difficulty by right-clicking on your character's portrait, going down to dungeon difficulty and selecting 5-man heroic. And once we're inside, we are going to take a left and head down to the split personality achievement boss first of all. So this run shouldn't take you too long, about just less than 10 minutes to get these three achievements done, and they're, they're very easily soloable, so you don't need to worry about that. No matter what, caster, ray melee, range, tank, healer, all should be okay with soloing these achievements. The only one you may struggle with is the very last one. Um, that one, if you don't have enough burst, you may need some help with, or you don't have some way of uh, removing a root effect, essentially. If you don't have enough damage to burst the boss down, essentially, you'll be rooted, and you will need to be able to get rid of that root or magic effects from yourself to be able to not fail the achievement, essentially. But we'll get to that a little bit later on. So we are going to continue clearing through the trash. And we are closing in on the first boss. So once we get through these two trash packs, we will be at the first boss, which will be for the achievement split personality. Defeat Grand um, Magus... Is it Magus? Mag Magus? Magus? Um, Telestra in the Nexus on heroic difficulty after killing her images within five seconds of the first one dying during each split. So there is two splits that you'll need to get through. And I, I don't know what happens if you kill her before the splits happen, so we're just going to DPS her down to the point where she does both the splits, and we make sure we, we complete the achievement without taking any risks. So we're just going to DPS her very, very slowly, and very, very slow, and wait for her to split. Now you need to kill these within five seconds of each other, so when the first one dies, you have five seconds to kill the other two. Level 90, that's not a problem. You've seen they died within a second anyway, so there's no issues there. And then she'll, she'll throw you around a bit. Bit of, bit of abuse, and we'll DPS it down a little bit more, that should be low enough now, and she'll split again, and then we're going to kill these ones again within 5 seconds, and that is the achievement done. So we can kill the boss when she respawns, and that would be the uh, split personality achievement completed. So that's one achievement down, just two more to go. So we're going to clear through the, the trash pack, that magic jumping trash, no worries. And yep, head down here, and we'll be on to the second boss of the instance, which will give us, I guess, could be classed as the third if you class the uh, heroic only boss as a boss. It's a bit of a joke, but anyway, um, the second boss, this boss will give you Chaos Theory, and it's to de defeat an un anomalous in uh, the Nexus on heroic difficulty without destroying any chaotic rifts. So, very basic and straightforward achievement. Basically, he'll uh, during certain percentages he'll split into a chaotic rift. Alright, maybe it's after a period of time, I'm not too sure. But basically, it'll split into a, a chaotic rift, and you cannot kill the chaotic rift. I think I slow DPS here just to allow him to do a chaotic rift, just to make sure I, I get credit for the achievement. Oh, it's worth being safe than sorry. So I DPS him down a little bit, and I wait for him to go into a chaotic rift. And there we go, he is now in a chaotic rift, and basically, the, the objective of the, of the achievement is to not DPS that chaotic rift. As you see, the boss is channeling um, an ability, and once that finishes, he will be attackable again. So we're just going to leave the Chaotic Rift up. And it, it does no damage, as you can see. It's it's missing me for every single attack so far. So you don't need to worry about the damage from the actual Chaotic Rift, which was the issue before the adds and the Chaotic Rift damage were quite a big problem. But now that isn't a, an issue at all at level 90. So as soon as he's finished the channel, he'll pop back up and you can kill him, getting you the Chaos Theory achievement. So that's him dead. So we are going to move on to the final achievement, which comes from the last boss, so you will have quite a bit to clear to actually get to the last boss. As far as I'm aware, unless they've changed it, you do need to kill the three bosses in the uh, the dungeon to actually access the last boss. So we're just going to clear through it just to make sure. Um, I've not actually tested to see if it's been changed, but I'd imagine it hasn't, and you do still need to clear out the three bosses to actually access the last boss. So we're going to clear through the trash, we're going to take a left here to get to the third boss which is the, the final one to basically allow us to kill the final boss. And yeah, just clear through this. You can pretty much pull it all. The the mobs are a bit annoying. They do have a slow or some form of uh, maybe a stun. I remember they have some form of CC, which is a little bit annoying if you pull quite a few of them. Uh, not in terms of death, but they just kind of annoy you. So get to the boss. We're going to kill him and um, kill all the trash in the way as well. 
and then we're going to head up this ramp. And it's just kind of like the, the shortcut to get out, essentially. So we're going to head up here and then jump down, and take a left, and head into the final boss's room. So now that we've killed all the bosses, the, the last boss is accessible. We are going to kill the trash pack, well, the, the mob that guards this room as well, just to make sure it doesn't cause us any issues. We're going to get him out of the way, and then when you're ready to fight the boss, you are going to click all three of these orbs. Now, the final uh, achievement is Intense Cold, and it's to defeat the boss without allowing Intense Cold to reach more than two stacks. So always be jumping, and um, if you stay still, you gain a stacks of Intense Cold, and the boss will, if you don't DPS it uh, down quick enough, will do a Frost Nova, which will root you in place. So you want to make sure that you dis you know, you're moving consistently. I just jump in place, and if you get frost nova, you need some way of getting rid of that frost nova. So that's where you might have a bit of an issue if you don't have a bubble or a dispel, and you may need some help outside help. But either way, the boss has very little HP, and you've seen how quickly it died. So good luck. Look out for more achievement guides coming soon. Thanks for watching, guys. See ya.